How's it going, everybody? Trying our corner 100 here, and that's right, we're back again with season one of the ICL. We had to restart, uh, mainly because people were dropping out, and that meant restarting, which kind of sucks because I had a, a good draft, uh, but since we had to restart, we had to redraft everything. But that's okay, because when they announced that we're going to have a new draft, I, I decided to, you know, take it personally, like, choose a Pokemon that I want to use throughout the league. Uh, and that is actually going to be Charizard X. And of course, I've used Charizard X before you saw my previous Wi-Fi battle videos. I've been using it uh, just to, you know, keep it, you know, you know, fresh and uh, battle ready because I will be using it for a while. And so that's why I've decided to use Charizard S as my main uh, pick. And then I moved on with the draft. I picked up, uh, if you see here on the screen, I've got Charizard S here. I picked up Starmie as a rapid spinner. We've got Florges and Caesar as a core. Let's not forget about Rhyperior. Rhyperior can be used as a rock polish set or just set up entry hazards so that I can hopefully sweep with Charizard X. I also picked up Cofagrigus, and those were just the six I chose in throughout the draft. My other uh, six included uh, Electivire, Sanchino, and to a lesser extent, uh, Ditto, and Mianxiao, and a few other Pokemon, but those were like great Pokemon to have on any team, really, but that's why I chose, and so now we're here for week one of the ICL for real, and I hope that we continue and not restart again. <laughs> that would be extremely bad news bears, but anyway, so my first week opponent is against uh, Super Nelly on Twitter, or the legendary hero YouTube, I guess, because that's his name right there. Uh, we're going to do this on Showdown because my opponent does not have a 3 DS, And, of course, I will be uh, battling over Wi-Fi in my future Wi-Fi battles for this uh, first season of the ICL. So, that's the thing. If you look at the team preview... I already stated my Charizard X, Starmie, Rhyperior, Forges, and Caesar, and Cofagrigus. Uh, my opponent's side had access to uh, Mega Lopunny, which I had an answer for it, uh, which you'll see just how awesome this Pokemon is. And he has Tornadus, uh, Therian form, Jolteon, uh, Dawnfang, Haxorus, and Tentacruel. I forgot what other Pokemon he has access to, but those are the six that he has. Uh, going into this, I figured leading out with Cofagrigus would be my best play. Not only because I can burn things, but I can also uh, knock off some items off. That is such a weird sentence, but we're moving along. Uh, but yeah, I can knock off items and burn things, and that's what we're going to do here. So I will go ahead and play this. I will stop to make note of some plays, but I hope you guys find this video awesome and make sure you like this video and subscribe. Here we go. Uh, so I'm going to start with Cofagrigus and he's finally got with his Lopunny. Immediately I go with the uh, Will-O-Wisp. Unfortunately, I forgot about uh, Lopunny's uh, ability when it goes Mega. Which is, I believe, Scrappy, because that would hit ghost uh, Pokemon, like Cofagrigus. So he flinches me with a fake out, which is unfortunate. I do carry leftovers. I, once again, try going for the uh, Will-O-Wisp. I do cash Dawnfang, which is great. But I know for a fact that Dawnfang is going to uh, go with Stealth Rock, And so I'm going to switch in Starmie. He predicts that and goes with a knockoff. Knocks off my life orb. Uh, I chose life orb specifically to just add a little bit of extra punch while being a rapid spinner. But granted, if I went for rapid spin, I would take 12.5 from the life orb recoil. 
and that would probably not be a good idea if you know what I mean. But that happened there. That was a great prediction. And so um, I actually predicted him. So you see, I went for Thunderbolt. You see that, right? Um, I was actually expecting his, I believe, tentacruel to switch in because the water type move seemed obvious. So I went for Thunderbolt. Uh, unfortunately, oh, there we go. Uh, unfortunately, he switched in Jolteon. And so now I'm like, okay, great. Now I need to switch in Forges, who is my special wall in this battle so I can take Thunderbolts or special moves for that matter. I go with a wish. I actually does switch in his tentacle right there. Uh, fortunately, I don't get poison from the Sludge Wave. I go with the Calm Mind, get my wish. And that's basically the, you know, the idea with Forges. It's a bulky Pokemon that will pass wishes to Pokemon, like, you know, Charizard S, if Stealth Master up, and I don't have access to Rapid Spin yet, I can, you know, go with Wish. And, uh, I do have, a uh, Citrus Berry. I go with a Moonblast. Uh, I know it's not super effective, but I went there to lower his special attack. That's the very reason for that. Uh, and I can switch out, go into Copper Grigus, to basically dodge the Sludge Wave. It's not very effective, and now I can hopefully burn a few things or go with a knockoff. I go with a Psychic, though. Um, I'm not really sure why. I could have just gone with a knockoff, but that's okay. Uh, Cough Regrigus is going to hopefully uh, try out the Hex move. I actually went with hat, uh, Hex, not Hex, uh, Hex. Hex is a move that if you use um, Will-O-Wisp or any other size condition, you need to go with Hex, that's going to do double the damage. He did lower, uh, layer, wow, I can't talk. Uh, he did layer uh, his Stealth Hawks, which that's going to be a little unfortunate, but I do have access to Rapid Spin. Uh, here's Tornado, so he went for Dark Pulse and then Hurricane. I'm going to lower his... Um, HP down a little bit, so that way I can uh, revenge kill with my Charizard X or my Starmie. I go with a couple of uh, attacks here with Cofagrigus. He missed a couple of Hurricanes, not very reliable. Here I try going with another combination with the uh, Will-O-Wisp and the uh, Hex, which actually didn't do as much as I thought it would, but um, here I he went for the U-turn. Good play. He goes into his Lop Honey to resist or dodge the um, the Hex. And, of course, he's going to go with another Fake Out. And now I can go in the Forges because that's going to be my better type mashup. Unfortunately, um, the turn did a lot more than I thought it would. And I can... Uh, pass the switch for Scizor, who's actually Choice Scarf. Now, the reason I went for a um, Choice Scarf Scizor is mainly because it would catch my opponent off guard while still having access to a uh, Bullet Punch that is priority, so you never know if he's Choice Scarf or not. So, like I said, I'm going to pass the wish for Scizor. Unfortunately, Choice Scarf just doesn't cut it for hitting Lopunny. Lopunny on Mega Evolution is still faster, which is unfortunate because I, I definitely went for that superpower there, which is super effective against Mega Lopunny, and he has access to Fire Punch, which I knew he had, but I knew I had speed, but unfortunately, I miscalculated the speed tier, uh, so... And once again, I have a defensive Starmie this week, but that doesn't matter in uh, Mega Lopunny's case. He's going to go with another uh, return, and now I'm going to bring in Charizard S for the first time. Hopefully I'll speed. I do not, and of course my uh, return would take me out. And then I sack off Forges. Why the heck not? I'm going to lose this battle. Um, 
because while Rhyperior is able to take a Drain Punch, uh, I just go with the Skill Knight because what, no matter what I do, I'm not going to win this battle because, you know, he has faster Pokemon. I could have set up there, but I don't see the reason to do that. Uh, but yeah, so I go with the Skill Knight there just to put some damage, but it really doesn't matter because Drain Punch will restore my or his health. Wow. Uh, yeah, so that is going to be a loss for the San Francisco Swamperts. Very unfortunate loss right there. Um, one thing to note is that up until I brought in Scizor, I felt like I had the upper hand. Turns out that he is still faster, and that really threw me a loop there, for a loop there, and... That kind of like the loss because I had nothing for this Mega Wolf Honey, even though I had the answer for it, like Forges, for example. But I, I, I just didn't play it right for some reason. So I was stressed out uh, after that battle. So uh, that was just a tough loss to overcome. But those are the deficits that I need to learn from, and we can definitely uh, coup our losses for week two. So I hope you guys. Uh, Stay tuned for week two, and I don't know who I'm facing for week two, but I'll find out eventually, and I will hopefully post the battle when the time is right. So we lose, that's right, we lose uh, 5-0, but that is a learning experience. Hope you guys find this video uh, as a learning experience for you as well, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for more Wi-Fi. Stay tuned for more Wi-Fi battles, and I'll see you next time, Chairs. Have a great day. Bye.